And that very same day, a demonstration that getting angry may be just what the media want. An accused rioter has clashed with a television cameraman after facing court on charges arising from the attack on the Oakley Bob Jane store. The charges are serious, but of course not yet proven. And anyway, it wasn't the accused rioter who was first shown clashing with the cameraman outside the Melbourne Magistrates Court. It was his father. You bloody idiot! You idiot! I, I don't care! You say to whatever! On Seven Story, that aggressive behaviour by Mr Judd Amar seemed to come completely out of the blue. But we've been given the unedited footage shot by one of the cameramen there that day. It shows that the father had been sorely provoked, especially by the cameraman shooting for nine news. We're going to run it at some length, and I warn you, the language isn't pretty. Omar Amar had just been given bail by the magistrate, and he and his father were trying to walk away from the court. Hey, please, guys. Please. Hey, please, man. Please. I don't want to push anyone. Please. I said please. Don't push people, mate. I say believe. I say believe. You don't push people. I say believe. You don't push people. Both men cross the street, but when they return to the pavement, it continues. I say believe. I say believe. Believe. Leave me alone. Believe. I'm just doing my job, mate. Believe. Leave me alone. Enough. I'm just doing my job. Oh, my God. Just doing his job. But at most, he needed a couple of shots of the pair. You'd think he'd have got enough by now. But no, he's hardly started. Hey, man, go away, please. Leave me alone. What do you What's want? a shop? What What's a shop? You already have it. Please, go away. All right, right. you've got me. Please. Please. What do you want? Please. You've got me. All right, you've got my face. Is that what you want? Believe, so man. What you want? What's this? Oh, my fuck off. I say believe, man. Believe. Believe. Go, go away. Believe me. Okay, I don't touch you. I say believe. Go away. No. You don't touch me. But sir, but sir, I'm a homo. I don't talk for trouble. And I say believe. Go away, believe. Believe. We're just doing our jobs. Bloody. You don't touch people. But it's fine, apparently, to stick a camera in their faces for minutes on end while they walk down a public street. By our count, the cameraman had been asked to stop, please, 25 times by Mr Amar. At this point, though, a noisy truck makes it hard to hear. It sounds as if the cameraman says, F off. <laughs> You say to him to fuck off, you bloody idiot, you idiot. I, I don't care, you say to whatever, you idiot. That's right, the nine cameramen, whose name is Simon Fuller, called Mr Amar an effing terrorist. If he wanted a reaction, he certainly got one. You say again, you bloody idiot, what you, say? you idiot. I'm you a terrorist. I'm a terrorist. I'm you a, call I'm him a terrorist. terrorist. I'm a terrorist. I'm a terrorist. I'm a terrorist. What do you see now? Oh, we'll go get the cops now. <laughs> the argument continued as the Amars retraced their steps towards the court in search of police. A minute and a half later, it was still going on. Omar Amar was by now furious. Calling my dad a terrorist? Who the fuck are you to call him a terrorist? Has, why, why do you call him a terrorist? Because he has a beard and because he's Muslim? Is that what it comes down to? Is that what you guys have kept bringing it down to? You can't even have a beard in this country anymore without being calling a fucking terrorist. Have some fucking self-decency. The man's never been caught in his life and you're calling him a terrorist. You're calling him a terrorist and he's never been to court in his life. Is that what it's come down to? Edifying stuff. Nye's Director of News in Melbourne tells Media Watch. Simon Fuller has been stood down pending the completion of an investigation into all the facts surrounding this incident. Good. But until TV news directors make it clear to their cameramen that they don't want people to be badgered like this, it will go on happening. It's worth remembering that there were at least two crews filming the incident. Wisely in the circumstances, nine didn't broadcast a single frame of the confrontation. In a statement to Media Watch, Judd Amar's lawyer writes... Mr Amar wishes to clarify that he has been a citizen in this country for over 20 years and has never been the subject of a criminal allegation. He also wishes to convey his disappointment that the words were said in the first place by the Channel 9 cameraman and that the altercation was later broadcast by Channel 7. In fact, both 10 and 7 aired some of the confrontation. Neither gave any hint of how seriously Judd Amar had been provoked. 
he comes across as an aggressive Muslim. His lawyer says... This incident has the capacity to further erode the Islamic community's confidence in the media. No more to be said.